Jessica. I'm back with another unboxing video for a cherry on top crafts and I got my most recent order from a cherry on top. So this is going to be what I'm using for, oh geez, what month is this? So this will be May stuff, I think. This is with May projects. Um, I think the theme for the YouTube hop is flowers, if I remember right. Um, so that's probably what I'll be using. Um, they threw in a nice little 49 and Market flyer here with some cut apart pieces. And I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got here. I got the some of the Pebbles Fun in the Sun collection. I just thought the colors in this was super, super cute. Um, this is the mini paper pad, but I'm just going to kind of flip through. It's got really pretty foiled designs on there. Little popsicles and just really fun watermelon and just beachy prints which is just something that I love. I love to scrapbook beach prints and fun things like that. Um, let's see where's the rest of that. I got the little ephemera pack that goes with it. It has all those goodies in there. It's got some tags and some little frames and things, some tropical leaves and ice creams. Super duper cute. And then here's the little puffy stickers. I just thought these were absolutely adorable and I had to have them. I kind of wish I would have got two packs of these now, but I just think they're just adorable. Look at all the cute little sunglasses and things. There's that. Here's the other pack of ephemera and it has little mermaids. And again, kind of the same things written that were in the puffy pack. It has that little cute pineapple and the watermelon. All those good things. I just love them. That little crab. Ah, so, so cute. Got lots of beachy layouts out of that. Um, I got these that go with that collection. The little thicker stickers. They're like little title bits and things. I just think they're so cute and sweet. So lots of cool title pieces there that you can use. Soak up the sun. Love those. Um, trying to find the rest of it, I think. There should be, should be some more of it, I think. Let's see here. Yes. All right, here is the 12 by 12 paper pad. I got that as well. And it has double-sided prints. Some are the same, some are different. I fell in love with this one with that gorgeous blue wood grain with the sand at the bottom. And this purple plaid or not plaid but kind of like a grid design i love this watermelon print i have some photos in mind that i want to use this with so i just think it's super super sweet i love these wordy wordy papers love it so and the waves i love those waves too aren't those so cute i love it so super fun summery collection if you're looking to scrap anything from summer um these Little alphas also are with that collection. It's like that fun watermelon print. Super cool. Let's see if anything else goes with it over here. No, okay. Move on to this summary collection. This is a new one by Photoplay. It's called Anchors Away. I just thought the colors in it were very unique compared to everything else that's out there right now. I really love this kind of um, orange kind of corally colors in it and mixed with the blues. I just thought it was really, really pretty. Um, I'm actually gonna open this up and I'll show you guys the papers in this one. So here's the sticker pack that comes in it. And this is really all that I got with this collection because like a lot of it's geared towards cruise and like it says cruise mode and has like the um, little window, things like that. And we don't go on cruises, but I just really love the color scheme in it. And I know that I can use a lot of these things. Like I can use relax, I can use the little um, life preserve, life, life preserver, life saver thing. I can use the sunglasses and the anchor. I can use the wordy bits. Um, lots of these things I can use. So I will, even though it's geared towards cruising, I will still use it. I love this yellow. Can I say it again? Oh, I love it so much. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. And you get two. So you get both pieces. There's the back side with all the fun bits. I just think that's absolutely stunning. There's a nice blue and white stripe. And then this beautiful kind of stamped up tourism kind of 
paper. This is a nice like coral with words. And then the cut apart hexagons. I can already see a layout coming out of this because that's just so pretty. And then this blue is kind of grungy and totally my jam. I just love that. It looks like something that I would have made with mixed media. The other side is cut apart. So it's got this fun scape here and then some little cut apart pieces down here. <clears throat> this nice fun orange and coral stripe, beautiful with the anchors on the other side. I love anchors. This one's a nice orange color. Got some white boats and things. And then some cut apart pieces on the back. And then that's just the back side. So we've got all that goodness. I ordered the um, coordinating, coordinating variety pack of cardstock. This cardstock is textured and I just love it. Um, it's become a nice alternative to the basil cardstock that I used to love so much. I still have a lot of that left, but I really love the color scheme in this to match that collection. So I got this solid pack and I got some loose papers here. These are just by 49 and Market. I really love a deep, a good deep teal and I just love this paper by 49 and Market. So I snatched up some of that. This is another one by 49 Market. I just really like that new um, blue theme that they have coming out. So I got some of that. And this paper, I have seen some really cute layouts done lately. I think, um, I think Rebecca B had one that she did and somebody else had one too, but they, you know, kind of used bits and pieces of this. And I tried it on one layout and I messed it up. So I... <laughs> figured I would try again so I ordered a couple more sheets of this to go with that Vicky Booten Discover and Create collection. This is more of the new 49 and Market color scheme collection. Um, there's the back side. Sorry guys. And then it's really dark in here so I apologies, apologies if this is hard to see. Um, I have everything packed up for a crop so like my desk is completely cleaned off right now and there's nothing in here. Well, I wouldn't say there's nothing in here, but there's it's pretty cleaned up from what it normally is. This paper is just one of the my favorite papers by 49 and Market, and I love the blue, so I reordered that. This is just um, that nice wood grain paper from that Pebbles collection, Fun in the Sun, so I ordered an extra one of those. 49 and Market Revlons. I love these. I just think they are amazing and go so good on any type of grungy layout or travel layout. I just, I love them. I love layering them and adding them to projects. It's, just, it's amazing. I ordered this little uh, funnel tray for my sequins. I thought I'm going to take this to that crop that I'm going with this weekend so that my sequins hopefully don't get all over the place. Usually I just dump them on my desk and don't worry about it, but since I'm going to be at a crop, I figured maybe I should try to be a little bit cleaner about it and not drop them and scatter them all over the place. So maybe that'll help keep me a little bit organized. I really liked the Pink Fresh line. This is their new line. I can't... It's so small on here. I'm trying to see what it's called. I can't read it. My eyes are horrible. Um, but this is by the new Pink Fresh line that they have out in the shop right now. I just really love the shades of purples and greens in this. I just think it's really pretty. And I am a sucker for small alphas like this, so I had to get that. And then I got a bunch of things to make cards with. So I really like making cards, but I don't do a lot of it. But I would like to make some birthday cards because I have completely depleted my stash. And I really need to kind of replenish that. So I am going to make some cards. I ordered some of these dies. So I ordered some scallop dies by Dress My Craft. And I ordered some waffle dies by um, Waffle Flower. <laughs> waffle Flower dies. But these are kind of scallop too. But they're just, they're a little bit different. Each set kind of had their own thing about them that I liked. So I got both of those. I got this fun grass dye. There's two different ones there that you can kind of layer up. Has a frog there too. This is by Dress My Craft as well. I order um, these little things by Lawn Fawn. This is just a cute little kind of one of those lantern fish. I don't, I don't remember what they're actually called, but um, anglerfish is what it says. So um, 
yeah, I ordered that fun guy, planned to color him in with some Copic markers, pop him on a card, put a fun birthday saying on it. Um, I always order the coordinating dies because I hate to fussy cut out. You guys know me, you know that I hate cutting out anything. So I ordered the coordinating die set. So that's that. And then same with this one. I ordered this. I thought this would just be super cute for some birthday cards as well. Um, and it even has a little birthday phrase on there. It's a little unicorn and a dinosaur. So I thought that would be super cute to put on some fun birthday cards. So that is my order for the month of May. So you can look forward to seeing these products in my May projects. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. So thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.